Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys um, some projects I created for a swap that I'm in with a couple of YT, YT friends. Um, I'll put their link in the description box. Um, I asked Cheryl, who is Jim Sale, and Danessa, who is DLove104, if they wanted to swap some items with me because, let me tell you guys, in April, I was in a swapping mood. So, I contacted like five people and I was like hey you want to swap hey you want to swap oh and I didn't know that I was going to respond at the same time but I'm telling you I've had a blast creating all of my swap items for everyone and I have enjoyed everything that I have received thus far after this swap I have one more one-on-one -on -one and everything is quiet so but this challenge stuff I love so um, I've been I've been having a good time so this particular swap is um, you have to make a handmade card and um, for each of the ladies and then you have to make a book box uh, like a book card box and alter it of course and then you have to make five embellishments so I was also in, in an embellishment mood notice the last few swaps have had to embellishment in it so um, anyway I'm having a good time so let me share with you this particular swap uh, the items are very similar um, because the ideas that I wanted to create, I wanted them both to have. So here's my first card. It's so cute. I love it. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. How about that one, Veronica? So um, anyway, I created this card. You guys saw this card um, when I did a guest spot for Little Blue Bell Stamps. I created this shape and I loved how it turned out so I decided to do them again and I'm using the Prima something blue paper on this one as you can tell the inside has a mat where I'm going to write my message I'll probably put a white piece of paper on top of that to write my message to the recipient and here's the front heavily embellished so I layered the paper um, twice with the shape and then the third one has the shape, but I just split it in half and rolled the edges. Then I also added some uh, scrap pieces and rolled them over and tucked them so they can create like a double rolled edge. I tucked some lace or some um, an applique behind here and here on each of the cards. And then, not an applique, it's a lace piece. I just took a piece and put it on both sides. And then here is the lace piece again down the middle. I also added some recollections, flowers, and leaves. I made a handmade flower and added some wild orchid craft stamens in the center uh, out of the paper collection, something blue. And then I have two um, wild roses, also from wild orchid craft, curly roses, also from wild orchid crafts. And then I added some stickles on the flowers. So, so super cute. I really love it. And the hello is a sticker from the collection. Um, from the collection pack so I just put press that flesh against the paper so I like how that looks hello okay so that's the first card and the second card I created Ta -da! love it love it love it love it also use the Prima something blue except this piece is from Prima princess collection and then I did the rolled um, same thing layered it three times and then for the last layer I curled back the edges and then added two more little pieces from scraps on there I also added some lace that I tucked in at the bottom and the top another one of my handmade flowers love it these turned out so super cute and then I added two more wild orchid craft flowers and then two brown flowers from my stash I added a um, applique on both sides I added some of this little wooden trim um, sticks it's Prima stick sprays and then tucked behind here are a, is a flower filigree that I cut in half and I put one half on this side and one half on the other I dusted the flower with some gesso and both flowers with some stickles and that's the inside matted super cute dimensional love 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 it so those are my um, handmade flowers some movies out the way because you may not have enough room okay and then the next thing we had to create was the book 
boxes and these again are similar to each other and I absolutely love it I love it love it love how they turned out I had created a couple book cards and I, I love I loved how it looked it was more shabby chic I did a video on that a while ago but I did not want to do that I didn't want to send those um, I felt vintage e so I wanted to I do lots of laces and trims and stuff so here is my book box oh I just love it it's um chipboard and I layered the first I covered the chipboard uh, after I made the book I covered it in white cardstock then I layered it in the full piece of chipboard in one whole piece of lace the front just the front one large lace um, that I have here's the back isn't it gorgeous here's that lace one that I was taking the whole thing is in lace it looks cute against that black I mean that white background it makes it pop a little bit I added some cream colored uh, trim all the way around the box and the top and the bottom then I added flat back pearls on all of the little roses that are that's in the trim I outlined the box with some uh, pearl iridescent trim I handmade this flower which is um, a crochet doily and then I stitched a um, two layer lace doily and then a um, eyelet piece of fabric and then I just have some of that extra iridescent trim with a button center love 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 that on the side I have this gorgeous two layers of gorgeous trim here this is closing this is holding the box closed so this is not attached but look at that beaded applique I love it so underneath is uh, another trim here and these all of these trims are from treasures deluxe so look at that gorgeous and then all this beaded applique gorgeous for the binding I absolutely love it I love 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 it I hope you girls do too so really really cute so you open the box and that's how the inside look I use some paper that I have from my stage I'm not sure where it comes from but it's like dictionary vintage dictionary paper use my little punch on the side and then this is a box it has acetate so here's the box and I stuck one of the items this supposed this is supposed to have goodies in it so I just put something there so you guys can see how it would look so that's how the box look box goodness I need to finish my words um, box looks on the inside and so you'll see it you can be able to see the goodies through the window so I love that and the box is created with white cardstock and then I just added some trims around the edges super super cute love that so that's one person's box okay let's just tie this back really quick and then the second box like I said I wanted to keep both of them pretty similar with pretty similar themes rather this is the second box I know I love it <laughs> that flower is gorgeous so okay so let's take this off because like I said that's just holding it down it doesn't really need to be held down but I need to feel the need to add some closure um so the front I also did the same exact thing for the base put it in white cardstock except for this one I use different trims so I have this gorgeous um, tan colored trim going all the way around the front long piece going around the front and then I have this uh, trim which is from the shop elegant embellishments and then that's going all the way to the front and then I also made a um, got a crochet doily behind here there's a lace flower with a tiny button in the center and then I added extra pieces of lace at the bottom for some danglies I also added some flat back pearls on all the open spots where the flowers had centers I added flat back pearls and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous it's so 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 lovely and then on the side I used the same trims that Fleur de Lis trim and also this applique trim both are from Treasures Deluxe so so pretty absolutely love it and that's this is the inside of that box different color pattern paper but same concept and then here is this box so and then here I just use some trim from Treasures Nest um, from a long ages ago and I just used a little bit of that around the box so she can have something pretty to look at when she opens it love the profiles of these I just do so hopefully after you take out your goodies girls you 
put the box on the shelf and keep it and look at it and love the vintage laceness of it all. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how yours turned out. So that's the book box. Those are the books, book boxes and the cards. I'll have to make a roll for the five embellishments. So I did something a little different. I always try to challenge and push myself to push myself to do something different or a little twist on something when I'm packaging. So that's kind of my favorite part after I get done is the packaging part. So um, this is what I made. I wrapped their embellishments in a decorated bag. <laughs> so cute. I try not to do that. I try not to do this. So cute, but I just get so excited. I couldn't hold it in because I love it. <sighs> okay. Um, I got to stop doing that because somebody said that I say that like repeatedly. She was like, as you repeatedly say, it's so cute. I'm like, oh, I like saying it because it's so cute. Anyway, be that as it may. Um, so the bags, guys, is the, I don't even know if you can see. It's the vintage. You see the newspaper kind of peeking out behind there. It's those vintage paper bags that we kind of went crazy getting. So I had uh, different sizes of them. I had, some people have given me some and I had different sizes. So I decided to take the medium size bag that I had. I just sold the whole bag to um, get rid of some of the brown that was in it. Although brown, I like, you know, because it's a vintage bag, I brown I liked it, but I wanted to wash it down a little bit. I covered the whole bag in this lace on front and back. So they'd be able to reuse this bag. Well, they can't reuse it because their name's on it. Well they can I guess but but I wanted them to have something to keep. So with the book boxes they can maybe use put the bag next to it. But um the whole lace and this is the same lace that I put on the box that big white lace and cover that up and so the bottom has that cream trim again that I got from Treasures Deluxe and so it'll fold over it'll tuck under just like this so they would do that I don't know if I'm putting a closure there or not but so this is the front of Danessa's she's Love 104 and I absolutely love how it turned out um, again the front has lace as the base and then I just went to town with the extra laces I used um, some lace here all uh, from Treasures Deluxe just Treasures Nest trim some more of that iridescent pearl trim I used Chinese braid around the entire bag and I did the same thing I did opposite so I did the same thing down here that I did at the top if you can see all that gorgeous layering I it, I really just love how this turned out so that's that this is a butterfly um, it actually comes from Anna a fella 72 on her paper clip her clothes um, we did a swap and she includes included some of these and it came off her butterflies came off the the clothespin what is it called binder clip so I, I they were in the bag and I'm like oh these butterflies are cute and then I realized oh darn it they go on the, the binder clip but I use it for this so I'll use the binder clip as well but um, I thought it looked cute up there and um, here's a crochet doily that I have down here uh, in white and then I have another one in tan under there this is a handmade flower actually from Cheryl I believe so I can go figure I reused your flower I believe that's hers and she has a ribbon buckle and flatback pearl and then I just used some letters to spell out Danessa popped it up on a dimensional and put it on the back of some vintage kind of script paper so that's Danessa's bag <laughs> and the uh hello uh um the um what the embellishments are the same so I'll show you the bags and I can show you one person's embellishment and this is Cheryl's bag. It's so, so cute and lovely. I love it. I used Scrabble tiles for her name. And she off Cheryl. And they are the wooden, they're uh, chipboard Scrabble tiles. And again, there's Anna, Anna a fellow 72's butterfly. And then I did um, Chinese braid all around the edges of the bag. And then I did some trim, different color trim down here two layers is a really fat trim like a lattice trim like that wide and I have that on the top and the bottom and then again on top and bottom I have some organza ruffle trim with some uh, white pearl beads going down the center and again I have it for top and bottom and then I have some more of that treasure's nest going around her name on top of a vintage piece of cardstock I have a cute little flower with a 
Pearl Bling's piece from Elegant Embellishments on here. Very, very pretty. I love it. I just, I love it. And there's the back. And I actually like the sound of this bag. I know. It's like, it sounds, I don't know. I just like it. And it's like a quilt. It's so heavy and thick. Like the bag has gesso on it and layers of lace. And it's super thick. Okay. So in the bags, and both of the ladies have the same thing. So I have some, I use different pattern papers for this collect, for this background too. So different, just whatever I found that was cute and I like the background papers, I used it from my spare 6x6 six six paper pads. So, and they gave us um, a theme of whatever we want. They want it for me, they said, whatever you want, whatever your heart's desire. So I like when they do that. So this is the back. This paper is super cute. And then here's the topper. Love that. I have a little gardenia there. And then I just have my typical resin pieces. Love the resin pieces. And there's quite a few on here. And let's see what else is in the bag. Like, I don't know. Ooh, some pretty flowers. These flowers are gorgeous. I love them. I will. I would make an Etsy shop and put these flowers in it because they're so pretty. But it's a lot of work to make these. So, um, But I really, really love them. And they are sprinkled with a shimmer and glitter. I don't, You can't even see it through the packaging. But maybe down on that one you can. They are gorgeous. I used Prima Something Blue. I used uh, Prima Lyric and Vintage Finds on these paper flowers. And then I just have some. They're different ones. So just different styles. That style. I have a closed closed cabbage rolls really really tight one an open one I have um some uh what do you call these things stamens from wild Creek crafts on that one and then the closed one with the little cute little leaves on the pointy leaves I love those so they have each have the same flowers a pack of six in that and then I made a um small pack of six and this is using the prima lifetime paper collection Kind of tried to stay in the vintage. I oh, got some paint on here. I'm glad I saw that. Ta -da, gone. <laughs> so I kind of tried to stay with the vintage color, vintage themes. So those are the tiny, the tiny, tiny flowers. And then I went ahead and made. Oh, so pretty. Um, I made a tassel. Now this is all sealed up and everything, but it's a tassel with a thimble. So this is the thimble up here. And it, it hangs as long as like three or four different colors of lace. I mean, um, colored seam binding that I colored from home and um, added some lace. And then they all have, a, well, they both have a chain. The chain with a hanging like huge artichoke. So the tassel is super long. So you'll have to check out the video when they open it, guys. So it's late. It's May 30th and this is due tomorrow, postmark tomorrow, which is Saturday. So I got it all packaged up and ready to go. I just was, had to do my cards. So this is the other thing that they will get. My fourth embellishment. Well, one, two, three, four, five. My fifth embellishment. Um, is we had to make five. So I counted the flowers as one since I just have two different sizes. So um, anyway, I used a um, resin butterfly piece that I made. And then I have this cute little dangle charm. So um, th this is a bronze uh, one inch charm and I added a little piece of paper in there and made some beads bead dangles with a little cute little purse on it I love this paper it's so pretty cute so they both will get that and the sixth one the last one I could not resist making a cute little book charm so this is how it comes packaged up like that and look they can put this on their project it's a have a little lobster clasp up here, some bead dangles, and then there's a book. Look at the book with real dictionary paper. Shut up! Real dictionary paper in it. It's so cute! And it closes. There's It doesn't open. It's sealed, so don't try to open and read it because you the words are just weird. So <laughs> it doesn't open. And I just have some pearls on the outside. Cute little book. I made that out of chipboard, and it is like one inch one inch with a like a tiny half inch by 
cute not even a half inch it's really tiny this is the cutest book ever I love it so they can hang that off of a cute project and I use a vintage finds uh, paper on this and then this has life on it and the other one has I forget what the other one has but it's a different saying on it so there we go um that's that so Danessa's have she had like I said they have the same thing minor differences like you know that name is different but there are my five embellishments they will come in this decorated bag for which they could use later um or not or whatever and then my book boxes all this lace and trim is gorgeous vintage vintageness and my cards so super super cute guys hopefully you'll find some buddies on youtube that you can swap with it's really fun very interactive very challenging you'll push yourself beyond your limits to do something um, for somebody else and it's great to get to know you and collect pieces from other people so thank you guys for, for watching this whole uh what 20 minute video and like if you like it leave a comment but just let me know you stopped by i really really enjoy reading your comments or seeing that you guys liked it and shared it so that's pretty awesome thank you for your support bye